<laughs> a memorable day for this man standing in front of us. Nick, Essex win, but personally, you win your Essex cap. Your thoughts on that? Yeah, I'm obviously delighted about getting a cap. Obviously, I'm very happy about this win, which is brilliant. We needed it. Um, but I'm, yeah, I'm delighted to have my family here as well. makes a massive difference. And, yeah, I'm exci excited. And I guess, future. like all these things, they, they, you know, you think about getting your cap, but when it actually arrives, it's, it is unexpected, isn't it? Yeah, it was totally unexpected. Um, I thought maybe if I have a good year, then maybe at the end of the year I might, might be in a chance. So, yeah, it was obviously a very, very special day. Yeah. Twelve months, a long time, some they say, in, uh, in sport. Um, it, it must have flown by for you because it was nearly a year to the day, wasn't it? You made that stunning uh, performance at Chesterfield uh, at centuries in either innings. Um, you just built on from there. I think this game completed your sixth first-class century, uh, but the runs have kept flowing, haven't they? Yeah, it's flown by, absolutely flown by. I've loved every minute. Um, I, ca I can't say, can't think of a day where I haven't enjoyed. So I've absolutely loved it. Hopefully the runs keep flowing and more hundreds keep coming. Yeah, indeed. A hundred at uh, Lancashire. I mean, there are centuries and centuries, aren't there? A uh, century, particularly at Lancashire, as I was going to say there, in what was a low total, uh, so valuable for the for the team. Um, the hundred here was obviously valuable, um, but uh, you know, maybe not quite as valuable as that one at Lancashire, which... Uh, went a long way towards us saving the game, didn't it? Yeah, I, I thought I played quite well at Lancashire where it was quite a tough wicket to actually to be free and score your run. So it was, it was quite nice to get, in, get stuck in and score some. Um, I wish I'd scored, scored 100 in the second innings as well, but I suppose you can't do it all the time. But I do quite enjoy trying to convert my 50s to 100s because I, 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 I hate getting out on 50 or 60. <laughs> now... You've left yourself with the target because obviously you inconvenienced yourself by dislocating a finger, uh, weren't able to show the Australians what your talent is. So that's something uh, that they can look forward to for the future. Uh, but you know, on a serious note, you've done this um, with that dislocated finger. It must handicap you, and yet you've just sort of shaken it off, really, haven't you? Yeah, it was frustrating that Australia game. I wanted to show sort of England selectors what I could do and against the best in the world, and it did frustrate me. And to be honest, I thought that was the end of my season. So probably it's given me a new lease of life. To be honest, I went to the hospital thinking that's it, that's the season over. And then I come back thinking, well, I'm going to be out for two weeks, which is brilliant. And then I was only out for probably seven days, or so if that, four or five days. So I was lucky. It is hurting still, but it's, it's getting there. And uh, I was lucky that it wasn't a fracture or a break. So I was very lucky. Yeah, yeah, indeed. And I guess, I mean, OK, six, six championship centuries. Uh, very, very short time you've been in the first-class game. You're still finding out so much about the game and yourself, I guess, aren't you? Yeah, of course. You know, it's, it's, it is hard uh, switching between 2020 and four-day cricket, which I'm finding uh, quite tough, but I'm improving every time I play. So, you know, learning, learning at the, the age I'm at now is, is good. I need to keep learning to keep switching my game plans, which is helping me a lot. Yeah, I know when we talked earlier on in the season, you were anxious to establish yourself, first of all, in the, in the first-class game, uh, in the red ball cricket, but also in white ball, because you didn't want to be pigeonholed just as one particular dimension type mm. of player. Um, you've get, got your opportunities in, uh, it, in the white ball game, um, and I guess are eager for a lot more now. Yeah, I'm, I'm so eager to do well in the t 2020s. I've enjoyed every 2020 I've played in, to be honest, especially here at Chelmsford. I've loved it. I've walked off and, and actually sat there with a smile on my face because I've actually loved it. Um, you know, obviously, great atmosphere. But yeah, I'm, keep I'm still learning and battling in the middle and, and obviously still learning in four day cricket as well. So hopefully, we'll keep, keep going there. Yeah. I guess if I ask you, probably the, the most special centuries that was the first one at, at Chesterfield, wasn't it? It was in front of the family, proved a point to yourself that, yeah, I can handle the, this game. Um, but is each and every one as sweet as the, as the last one? Yeah, it's quite hard to say. I think that obviously that first one was absolutely brilliant. I, I loved it. Actually, my first one here in front, of, in front of quite a lot of people, Full House against Worcestershire was, was great, was brilliant fun, you know, when I actually got over the line here was was special to show my own fans that I can play was was good yeah and finally Nick an integral part of a side that uh, with, with this win particularly has given themselves every chance of uh, pushing themselves right into that promotion uh, battle um, which looks pretty tight really I think Lancashire you know one would have to say look to have now one of the spots but that second spot could go to any one of a number of counties couldn't yeah, it yeah definitely you know we've got so much talent in this dressing room that 
was, was never going to get quiet for too long, you know. We've got bowlers that can win games, batters can win games. So, you know, we're in the hunt now. We, this is a must win. We knew that and we had to win this game. We've won it very comfortably. We've now got to go play Kent and beat Kent and we're, on, we're well on the road, definitely. Look to you to keep putting those runs on the ball for us. Nick, Cheers. well done and many congratulations. Cheers, thank you.